Yo, what's up guys? Felix from Flipping Medical Commodities University. I also run the Giant Lifestyle YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to have a frequently asked questions, a Q&A about the buying and reselling business of diabetic testing supplies, medical commodities, whatever you want to call it. I have about, you know, 10 or so topics here. I was going to make this into 10 or so individual videos, but I figured why not just combine everything into one, get a bunch of your questions answered, and I'll even throw in a few bonuses as I come off the top of the dome and answer these. And while I'm talking about other topics, I'll throw others in there. So if you ever wanted to know about, about a variety of different things and topics in the buying and reselling of diabetic testing supplies business, then this is the video for you. If you want more information about how this business works, how to do it, how you can start doing it, how much everything costs, what to do, what to say, what to pay, what to buy, what to look for. Click that first link down in the description, enter your name and your email, and I'll send you more information over. Now, the first thing we have on the list is will technology kill this business? You know, there's a lot of different machines coming out that you can hook up to your arm or hook up to your stomach, and there's different things that regulate, monitor, and even, you know, give you insulin. Now, I'm not a pharmacist, I'm not a healthcare specialist, I'm not a doctor. But even though there are things like that coming out, for example, my father has something that regulates his insulin, checks his insulin, monitors his insulin, gives him insulin, but he still uses test strips every single day. So yes, technology is coming out to assist diabetics with this horrible and deadly disease, but at the same time, I don't believe that diabetic test strips will evaporate or go anywhere simply because people are making too much money right there's too many people in the pot making money now we could talk about c19 that happened what almost three four years ago and you know whether it was man-made lab made or actually just came into the world i can bet you somebody that you don't know was making money off it and just like the diabetic business or diabetic disease there are people making money and giving the solution over the band-aid is less profitable so will technology assist diabetics yes will technology kill this business i don't believe so but if it does say in you know five months ten months five years ten years i could say hey it put it put me in a good position in life i was able to use this business to fund other businesses i was use this use this business to set my life up for to be financially successful so if you know that's what happened that's what happened it, i i did it from what 2015 to say say it dies in the next two years i did it from 2015 to 2025 or 2024 you know not everything lasts forever i know all good things eventually come to an end the next thing is who do we sell them to so we sell them to big name wholesalers slash pharmacies some free game you can go on ebay and sell them on ebay you go to sold listings you can see what sells stuff sells for and you want to buy it for a you know half to a third of what it sells for on ebay ebay is good but there's a lot of rules fees chargebacks limits in my training i give you the buyers i sell my products to so the same people i sell my test strips to and my supplies to day in and day out i give you their contact information i'm not middlemanning the deal i'm not getting a cut off what you sell to them i give you their contact information and you work directly with them the next thing is five reasons why this business is the best so i just have a bunch of notes i was like i said i was going to make a video individually about all these different topics that i'm going to talk about in this video but i'm just going to go off the dome and just kind of tell you guys you know an answer to all these questions so five reasons why this business is the best probably one repeat customers the good thing about this business is these people don't just have these supplies one time they typically come back in a week two weeks three weeks a month a month two months three months stuff like that so they're repeat customers um you could do this business by yourself you don't need a team you don't need any tech skills all you really need is a phone What did I say? Um, repeat customers, no tech skills, low overhead. Um, all you need is a phone, and you don't need a license. You don't need any like qualifications. Do you need an LLC? I tell people typically, look, go out there, make some money, go out there, be successful, go out there, make a few thousand dollars. The IRS, even though I'm not a tax professional, in my opinion, isn't going to knock your door down because you made a few thousand dollars flipping diabetic testing supplies. Once you make some money, you see you like it, you know you want to do it, you know you want to scale it, you know you want to take this to the next level and make it legit, 
then get with a tax professional, get your LLC, get all your legal paperwork in order, and then you can make your business legit. But to set up all your business entities and all the things you need legally, when you haven't even made a dollar, in my opinion, I don't recommend that. But at the same time, I'm not a tax professional. So whether you want to set it up first or set it up after, that's on you. Me, personally, I would say, hey, go out there, you know, make a little bit of money, make a thousand, make two thousand, make five thousand dollars. And my hair looks weird because I just got a hair transplant. But it's not needed right away. Um, pros and cons. Um, pros are kind of like you know five reasons why this business is the best. It's simple. It's 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 not it's not you know you don't need tech skills. You can run this business to six figures by yourself without a team. Um, there's repeat customers, and there's not too many people in the country doing this. Um, it's not saturated at all. People think there's it's it's saturated. Some people say, oh, well, there's other people in my area doing it. That's good. If there's other people doing it, that means they're making money. They're not putting up those signs and putting out that marketing for free. Also, you don't just have to do banner signs. There's so many different ways to market. Probably a con is, you know, this business can grow and it can grow quickly. And if you don't eventually hire a team, you can become overwhelmed. It happened to me. It happens to a bunch of people. They start this business. They don't realize how big and how fast they're going to be able to grow this. And when it grows quickly and it grows fast, they kind of get swallowed in. And they might be making 10, 15K a week, which is great money, but they have no life. So it's a good and a bad thing. Uh, it's not really a con because, I mean, 15, 20K a week um, or 15, 20K a month is great money. That could be a quarter million dollars a year. Um, but, you know, it's definitely... You know, you, eventually you do need a team. I did six figures in this business by myself, but eventually you need to outsource and hire a team. Why do people fail? The reason they fail with this and the reason they fail with anything else is because they simply don't persist. When it doesn't work right away, when it doesn't work day one, week one, month one, they quit. Now, typically I say, you know, people typically make in their first 30 days to a month, somewhere between 500 and 1,000. In their first 60 days or two months, somewhere between 1,000 and 2,000. And then in their first 90 days or three months, somewhere between two and 3,000. And that's monthly. That's recurring revenue. But if that doesn't happen, if it happens faster, if it happens slower, don't give up. I see so many people, they just throw the towel in when it doesn't happen immediately. You know, I've seen people the first month they made 5,000 and I know a few of my students that it took them a few months to make anything, but now they're successful. So don't give up. When it doesn't happen right away, keep at it. Remember when I first got started in real estate, it took me like almost a year to do my first deal. So that's why people fail because they fail with this because they fail with anything. When it doesn't happen right away, they quit. Don't stop until you get the result you want. It doesn't matter if it takes a month, three months, six months, a year. Now, I highly doubt it's gonna take you a year to get this business up and running because the hardest part, which is the next question, is doing your first deal. Once you do your first deal, once you buy your first set of boxes and you sell them directly to the wholesalers, you're gonna see how simple and how easy and how how, how quickly this business can be turned around. It's really not a hard concept, but what, what holds people up is doing their first deal when they don't do it right away, they quit. Now, can it happen right away? Yes, I've seen people enroll into my training and then the same day they made all their money back off one deal but it's not going to happen all the time it's not even likely to happen um how long to make ten thousand dollars per month i would say somewhere around you know the eight eight to twelve month mark can it happen quicker yes can it happen slower yes but i keep it realistic a lot of people online will tell you hey month one lamborghini month two mansion month three rolex that's not just not realistic you know you have to you know, move in increments and it's not gonna happen overnight. And the next thing is best markets. I mean, as long as you're in the United States, it's pretty much fair game. If you see other people in your city doing it, don't think, oh, there's not enough room for me. There are 30 million plus diabetics. One in 10 people have diabetes. There's so much room out there for everybody to win that it can't possibly be saturated. And the next one is my city saturated. Um, no, because there's 30 million plus diabetics, right? So those are kind of just like some rapid fire questions. I wanted to make all and touch on all those topics to give you guys some value, give you guys some content and give you guys more insight about this business. Again, if you guys have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below. My contact information will also be down there. But if you click that first link down in the description, it'll bring you to a free training where I show you everything you need to know about how to do this business successfully. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace.